Um, hello, in this video I want to continue discussing a bit uh, the previous video where we were talking about the mouse location, whether the mouse was inside or outside a rectangular box. And I wanted to continue discussing it because I noticed something at the end of the video, the, the way the code was written, uh, that it did something that may not be uh, obvious. In fact, often what's in the code isn't obvious. And uh, so I thought I would try to discuss that a little bit more uh, if I can manage not to confuse myself in the process. So I've uh, rewritten out the sketch from the previous video, uh, except I've added a few statements which I then commented out. So. Let me just quickly review this. I'm setting some initial parameter values here. I do the void setup, which sets up the drawing window. And then I have a statement which is commented out, which wasn't in the original code. So now I have void draw. Remember, draw executes over and over and over again. And what we're doing is we're with these with this if statement right here, we're checking is the location of the mouse uh, between the left X boundary and the right X boundary and the upper Y boundary and the lower Y boundary. And if it's in this region, X and Y position of the mouse, then it's in the box. And if it's in the box, we're going to change the fill for the box to black, to zero. And then I have these two statements which are commented out. Now, um, and then uh, if any of these four checks are not true, the code inside the if statement is not executed. What's executed is the code inside the else statement, which fills the box with black. Okay, now let me just quick run it to show you, remind you. Okay, I bring the mouse in. The mouse is outside the box, outside the box inside the box and the code turns black. Now, what I noticed last time was that there's only one place where we actually draw the rectangle for the box. Now, why did I think that was worth commenting on? Um, it's because what happens uh, when we're executing the draw loop here, notice I have background set at this location. Now what background does is it completely erases everything that was previously in the sketch box. Okay, it previously erases everything in the sketch box. So the sketch box is blank at that point. Okay, so what's going on? Okay, first we check X and Y position, and when we initiate the program, the, the, the mouse isn't in the box. So it skips down to else. It sets the fill to white for the box, and it doesn't plot the box until after it plots the box finally down here. So what we have is that, depending on whether the mouse is in the box we're outside the box. The only thing that changes going through this, these if statements is whether we're filling with black or filling with white. And then in the end, we redraw the box and then fill with the appropriate fill. And then when we go back and re-execute the draw loop, we're erasing everything. So that's what's going on. Now, because the box, whether it's black or white, the, the box is always located in the same position. Um, what would happen if we didn't draw the box down here? Um, or we didn't set background down here. We set background up here. I mean, set background here. Let's just try this. Let me tr change this. So there I'm setting background there. I'm going to comment out background here. So we're not setting background anywhere in draw. 
So it's not going to blank out the sketch box. Okay, let's execute. And there's our box. Gives me a set background equal to gray. We go through void draw. The mouse is out of the box, so it fills with white, and and uh, and then it draws the rectangle. Now, if I pull this in, it fills with black. Bring it out; it's back white, black white. So nothing changes in this particular example. If I put background outside of the draw loop, okay because uh, the rectangles, every time through the draw loop, the rectangle is always in exactly the same spot. So the only thing that changes as we go through the draw loop is whether it's filled with black or filled with zero. And um, so that's what's going on there. Let me close this. So, see we, in this particular example, we don't have to put background inside here. Now, let me remind you again, what's the difference between putting background inside the draw loop and outside? And I'll illustrate that with this old example right here. And here we go, void setup. Background notice is outside of draw. And I've commented out the background inside of draw. So I run it, and now I bring the, uh, I bring the mouse in and we start drawing these ellipses and the each time through draw it draws a new ellipse but the old ellipse the old ellipses aren't erased they stay in the box okay so in order to erase the old ellipses what we want to do is put background inside there and I can comment this out but not commenting it out really doesn't change anything. Now I run, and now you see that I only have the most recent ellipse drawn. Every time through the draw loop, the old ellipse is erased. Okay, so what is puzzling here, what might confuse you, is the fact that I'm only drawing this rectangle once after I'm doing... Uh, changing the fills with the if and else statements. I could draw a rectangle again here after each fill and uh, I actually don't think it changes anything. I put a rectangle there, rectangle there. Let's try that. Run. That's okay. Now let me comment this out. Run. And that works. So the point here, if there is a point, is that there are many different ways that you can get the same result in writing a program. And um, so in this particular problem, we can draw the rectangles inside the if statements outside the if statement. Now what happens if all the rectangles are commented out? As you might imagine, we get nothing. Okay, so even though we're changing fill, uh, there's no rectangle to fill. So let me take that out. So, okay, I'm not sure if I clarified anything there or not. Uh, a couple things that are peculiar about this example is uh, where the rectangles in the same position no matter what happens in the if else statement all we're changing here in the if else statement is the fill and uh, and we draw the rectangle in the same spot and we can erase the whole sketch uh, uh, drawing area with the background every single time through which is what's happening with this background right here and the reason is because we're redrawing the rectangle every time okay um, uh, so I may have just 
confused the problem that uh, didn't exist. Uh, I'll see you next video.